We're here. Brodia Castle. I don't see any Illusion soldiers. Oh, thank goodness. The attack hasn't begun. Wait, there's someone in front of the gate. He doesn't look like a guard. Is it an enemy soldier? No, that's... That's Diamant! He must have come out to greet us! I've been waiting for you, Divine One. I greet you as the Crown Prince of Brodia. I'm Diamant. I've heard so much about you. I'm honored to finally meet the legend in person. It's a pleasure, Prince Diamant. And Prince Alfred, welcome. Queen Eve's letter explained your situation. Thanks for coming all this way. It's good to see you. Likewise. I'm sorry it took a war for us to meet again after all this time. Oh, and Alcrist. Thanks for escorting our guests from the border. I know that's a rugged road. It was nothing, really. I bear ill news, however. Illusion forces attacked us at the Grand Crossing. Is that right? A battalion led by Princess Hortensia. We fought her off, but she said something troubling. The Crown Princess intends to assault Brodia Castle. If they're after our emblem ring, we may be on course for a dangerous confrontation. We'll have to prepare our defenses. Thanks for the warning, Alchrist. Come. Father will want to hear about this. Why do you all look so tense? Father, you were supposed to be waiting inside. Yes, I know. And I was. But then I had this feeling my boy Alchrist might be home. Seems my fatherly intuition was right, as usual. <laughs> Welcome back, son. Thank you, Father. I wish you'd stop finding excuses to leave the castle. It's not safe out here. Please, Diamant, not another lecture. Where's the harm in welcoming my dear boy back from his journey? Anyway, we'd best not argue in front of our guests. Oh, it's all right. Please, pardon my rudeness. Divine One, Prince Alfred, welcome. I am Morian, King of Brodia. Good to meet you. Likewise. I never imagined I'd meet the Divine Dragon. Indeed, such a special occasion calls for a welcoming duel. There's no time for that. We have an important matter to discuss. As all Christ was escorting our guests from the border, Illusion soldiers attacked them. Huh. <laughs> Illusions. It appears that the Crown Princess is planning an assault on Brodia Castle. Already making their move, huh? Soldiers, go now! Shore up our defenses! Yes, Your Majesty. Well done getting that information, Alchrist. Please. I don't deserve such kind words. Humble as ever, son. <laughs> huh. King Morian? Excuse me, but I need your kingdom's aid. You want our emblem ring, right? <sighs> I knew you'd ask. That's why I brought it. Here! The ring of the young lion. Hey, Diamant, think fast! Father, we're supposed to take care of the ring, not throw it around. Ah, you're no fun. Um, Alfred? Yes? King Morian seems so... nice. This is the man who's always invading Illusia? I thought he'd be more intimidating. You're seeing Morian friend and family man. He's known to be a big-hearted guy. But in battle, the demon comes out. He's not someone you want as your enemy. Ugh. Father can be such a handful sometimes. Divine One. I've got the ring for you. Thank you. What will you do with it? I'm going to summon an emblem. Rise up! Emblem of Binding! I'm Roy. If you're summoning me, that can only mean war has begun. There was a person in there? 
How about that? All along, this emblem dwelt in our family's ring. And now you have released him. It seems divine is no exaggeration, huh? Urgent news, your majesty. An illusion wyvern rider is approaching. It's dodging all our archers' attacks. What? She's here. Divine One, may I call upon Roy's help to defend the castle? Of course. I, Princess Ivy, speak for the Illusion Throne. I will now take your lives, your souls, and the rings. I underestimated how far you could get into Brodian territory, Princess Ivy. My soldiers are on the way. Now I will give you a chance to surrender before they arrive. Oh, I'm itching for that fight. Father, go back to the castle. What? Why? If something happened to you, our country would be devastated. Please, leave this to us. Right. Why should the king get a say in the matter? I'll do as you ask. But, Diamant, Alchrist, don't you dare get killed. We won't. Uh, well, we'll try not to. You must be the Divine Dragon. That's right. You really are as stunning as my sister said. I'm pleased to meet you. As is my ring. But that's... The ring of the Sage Lord. A gift from my father. With its power, I am sorry to say... I must kill you. I won't let that happen. It's you who will fall, Princess Ivy. You won't surrender then. In that case... My forces will prepare for battle. As will ours. I'll stop at nothing to get those rings back. <sighs> Finally! Horsey, you stopped! <sighs> Where were you taking me? Huh? Wait, uh... Is this the castle? Is that... Prince Diamant? Amber? What are Illusion soldiers doing here? They've attacked us. Say, Amber, weren't you out fighting beasts? I was, but then Horsey got spooked and wouldn't listen to me. I kept getting tossed around on its back, and next thing I know, here I am! <laughs> I'll never understand how you end up in these strange situations. But this time, it works in our favor. I was just wishing you were here. Maybe Horsey sets this danger. That's so clever of you! Ready to defend the castle together? I was born ready! If our enemies reach the gate, the castle will be theirs. We can't allow that to happen. I've got this. Together, we will defend the castle. You got it! This isn't so bad. I'm happy to help. Gotcha. What you got? Yes. I'll protect you. I am your weapon. Whatever you ask. Yeah. 
We will not relent until the castle is ours. If these enemies all come at once, our defenses won't hold. Our castle has a ballista. We can use that to pick them off. Understood. in this state. I'd better head to the rear lines to rest. <laughs> Serves you right.
This is so embarrassing. I'm gonna pull out and get back to my training. Put up a good fight. This is the mission of the stewards. Just a scratch? this. This is what I trained for. Oh. 
Leave now, or my duty demands you be dis- My name is Kagetsu. Pleased to meet you. Defeated. I must retreat. training. Divine Dragon. Oblivion is near. Nothing and... Lend me your strength! Ah! 
Yeah, that's the stuff. Please grant me your strength. With this emblem's strength and my own, there will be no defeating me. My apologies. Quite capable. I'll help. No! Mm, yes, fine work. My muscles are yours. Eye opening. Is this as far as I go? Pardon, but I must bow out. Else I fear my eyes might close forever. What's our move? There is no... Oh no! Battle is yet to come.
By any means necessary. As you wish. We recovered the ring, but the emblem is tainted with fell dragon energy. I'll have to summon him again myself. Prius! Emblem of genealogy! I am Leaf. Thank you for letting me swing a sword with these arms again. I will do what I can to retrieve that which has been stolen. Thank you, Leaf. How could I have failed? It's over, Princess Ivy. Surrender. I will not. There is more for me to do. No! She's gone. Your Highness, urgent news from the border. What is it? An Aleutian battalion stands at the ready. King Hyacinth is acting as general. He's leading their army himself. What? Yes. And he is demanding to see King Morian. <laughs> I must face him. Anything less would bring dishonor to Brodia. Father, he's baiting you. This may be a trap of some kind. Go back inside. Ha! I can fight my way out of whatever trap he springs. I urge you to reconsider. Listen, who's the father, and who's the son here? Stop trying to protect me. <laughs> son, this has been happening a lot lately. What's it all about? Are you worried Brodia might lose this war? Or lose its king? <sighs> We're not ready for any of this. Brodia to lose its king. Or me, my father. Diamond. From a young age, I was told I would lead Brodia after you died. Imagine, a boy forced to anticipate his father's death, to think of that empty throne. The Fell Dragon has returned. War is here. The future is uncertain, and I'm not ready. It's all right, Diamant. If I die, I die. Brodia will live on. But, father... What? You don't believe me? After I'm gone... I know you will lead with a steady hand. Though, I'm offended you expect that day to come so soon. You think I'm gonna lose, huh? You think I'm weak? That I need your protection? Oh, the hubris of youth. That's not what I meant. King Hyacinth awaits me on the field of war, his army at the ready. If Brodia hides, then what? After years locked in battle with Illusia, will we reveal ourselves as cowards? Listen to me, Diamant. I will fight bravely for Brodia. I do not fear death. 
Being known as a king who runs from battle? That scares me far more. <sighs> what do you think about this, Alchrist? Me? If I die, and Diamant alongside me, you will take the throne. <sighs> Father, don't say that. I... I will not let that pass. I will protect Diamant to the bitter end. Alchrist. Haha, <laughs> that's my boy! Diamond, you could learn a thing or two from your brother. Fear has no place in my kingdom. If we step into fear, then we step out of Brodia. <sighs> now then, to the border! It seems I can't dissuade you from this path. All I can do is walk it with you. Come on, everyone. Let's show Illusia why we're called the Kingdom of Might. Haha, <laughs> that's it. This won't be the last time I see the castle. And when I'm back... A tournament with our strongest warriors. That means you, Divine One. Me? Yes! I want to see you transform into a mighty dragon! Whoosh! Roar! Oh. Okay. What's the matter? Uh, nothing. You're right. I could turn into a dragon. Haha! <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. I'd like to spar with you too, Divine One. After a father gets his chance. But that's for later. Now, we should prepare for our journey to the border. Indeed. <sighs> this talk of turning into a dragon... Mother could. Can I? I have no idea if I can. Or how. We'll return soon. I leave Brody a castle in the Royal Guard's capable hands. Yes, Your Majesty. You can count on us. Done a fine job protecting it all these years, haven't we? We won't start slacking off just because you're not around. Excellent. And when we return, you'll be treated to a victory feast. Looking forward to it. See you soon, Your Majesty. Strong of body! Strong of heart! All right. Time to head out. Here we go. They're wrapping up their goodbyes. Yes. On to the border. I visited the Divine Dragon lots of times over the years. We're practically family. A persistent presence can form bonds deeper even than blood. They are to be cherished. For all I had hoped to discuss with you, now that you are before me, I am lost for words. I know what you mean. That we'll have plenty of time to get to know each other. <sighs> I've hit my limit for training today. Excellent work, Divine One. I brought a hot towel for your face. I think you will find it most refreshing. Thank you, Vander. That's very kind of you. I have also prepared a fresh change of clothes for you. When you change, deposit your dirty clothes into the basket, and I will wash them for you. I appreciate your generosity, Vander, but I'd prefer to take care of my own laundry. Certainly you have other tasks to keep you busy. My only obligation is to you, Divine One. Feel no hesitation in asking me for anything. But... It has been my duty to wait on you since long before you awakened. Were you to assume my duties for yourself, my position would cease to exist. So please, leave these trivialities to me where they belong, and trouble yourself no further. Again, I appreciate your willingness to help me. But I do feel a bit bad about all this. There is nothing in all of Elios to feel bad about, Divine One. Now I must insist you change out of your damp clothes before you catch yourself a cold. I really enjoyed our tea party today. Thanks for inviting me, Saline. The pleasure is all mine, Divine One. Our conversation made for an excellent spice over an already fine tea. <laughs> the tea was fine, wasn't it? That floral note it had was almost unbelievably good. I'm glad you appreciated it. The leaves were grown in Firenay, you know. The delicate, subtle taste embodies the spirit of our kingdom. It is my utmost favorite. Yeah, I've heard the Firenese prefer the pastoral life over any kind of open conflict. That really came through in this tea. There's a Firenese folktale I think you might find interesting. Our royal palace is home to a spirit who ensures happiness for the virtuous. For thieves or interlopers, however, the spirit drives them off with mischievous tricks. <laughs> Imagine, 
driven off by the prankish antics of a spirit. No serious consequences at all. How effective a deterrent do you suppose such a spirit really is? <laughs> Even so, it's a lovely story. It's the kind of good-hearted tale that reflects the Firanese character, I think. Yes. Yes, it is. Well then, we must have tea together again sometime, Divine One.